Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are jumping in again on a streak of zero. Honestly, I haven't actually played in like a day or so, so I don't remember what happened last time. I don't remember how I died. Um, it is a shame, but we are going to jump in as Judas. Dark Judas. Dark Judas is always a fun one, just because... What the fuck? What? <laughs> Um, okay, so things are coming back to me a little bit now. Uh, what the heck? <laughs> um, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing in the last episode, I got quite a few Eden's Blessings. And obviously... Okay, do you know what? We should we should really try and get rid of these burn hearts first. Uh, but obviously, I um, <laughs> I'll try and I'll try and use use them on a sacrifice room or something. I I've got some incredibly good items here. Mainly one of them being binge eater. So we got a uh, concussion blast. This thing here, which is great. We got a cute baby chilling about. We got shade. Them two don't really matter all too much. I'm gonna leave that soul heart there for now. Um, we got uh, the the skull that gives you the scaling damage. We got Mercurius. God diggity damn! Are you kidding me? My my game immediately crashed upon me walking into the shop. Apparently, I'm not allowed to have fun. Be right back. Okay, I actually went in and it let us in the shop this time. I'm not sure why it crashed last time. I'm hoping it doesn't do it again. But we even got the golden ring. Enemies become more aggressive, spawn extra rewards. This is going to be such a crazy run. Also, I lost one of my burn hearts. But I'm fine with it. I'm actually going to try and lose a few of them here. Um, and do some interesting stuff. So let's just play out this floor. So how does this work again? I can't remember. Okay, it's good. It's really good. That as an active is very, very nice. Do you know what's really confusing? Having Shade as Dark Judas. I never considered how hella confusing this is. It's like having a co-op character next to me all the time. Another Soul Heart. What is this run? <laughs> this run's obscene. <laughs> this run is on fire. Wait a minute, I need to check if I can do something, because I could do some... That guy just farted me into the next room. <laughs> oh, I am I am in shock right now. Right, I need to test if I can do something. Can I go like this? Oh, I can. That's so sick. I can dark hearts and then use it while I'm over the top of them. Right, so you go... Oh, yeah. That's so sick. I love that. This is like one of the most interesting runs I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, we unfortunately don't have a sacrifice room, so we are going to lose all of these burn hearts to you. One. He just instantly died. What happened? There's another soul heart. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's go and hurt ourselves on some stuff. This is nutty. This is nuttily butterly. Right. So we remember this room being pretty good. Yeah, we got a lot of money from this room. Right, another one gone. Another one gone. And the last one gone. And then we come in here, we take this as a HP up. We come here. I'm just going to quickly do a, an escape and continue to make sure we don't get another crash here. Because I don't know if it was having the money going into the shop that caused the crash. Okay, it wasn't. And then this time we buy breakfast. Gotta realise we're gonna be getting speed downs, but they're very minor. Um, and then... I think a bomb is worth it for this, you know? Right, and then we get that. Might as well grab a judgement card. And then we come over here. This might be one of the best starts to a run I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> Like, I realise the Eden's Blessing thing is broken as hell. But look at my stats! we got to go Mother this time as well. This is just obscene how good this is. And then, like, I love this just cool concussion thing. And then even, like, on top of everything, this trinket is god tier. This trinket is so, so good. 
I'm I am I am shook. I am shook. Oh no, I lost a health upgrade on my other item. What a shame. There's a black heart here. What the hell's going on? <laughs> <laughs> the hell is happening right now? <laughs> oh my lord, look at my stats. This is the coolest. <laughs> I don't know how I've managed this, but it is it is quite incredible. It is quite something. Okay, members access is definitely worth buying. Despite the HP that was there. We'll check in here. Oh, I'm gonna see if we can manage to afford that. I'd very much like it. I do, I do, I oh, said that really weird. I don't think we're gonna be able to, but I will definitely attempt it. Sad that there's some coins there that I can't grab, but such is life. Uh, we can dark arts over here to open this up and get some additional bombs, apparently. Actually, let's just sidestep this. Mercurius is one of the ones that I'm not all that bothered about having it. Like, I'm probably not going to be using it to go through rooms all that often. But it's nice to have, especially considering it gives a, a decent speed upgrade. I can't work full HP. It's just, it's just what... <laughs> How do you even describe a run like this? How do you even, even begin to contemplate? I didn't even check, did I have a donation machine to blow up? Because if, if I've got a donation machine I can blow up, I'll, I'll happily do that. All these, the extra rewards thing is so broken. Okay, so if we get flight, we can get quite a lot of money. I don't know what happened to Famine on the last floor. I just kind of insta-killed him. It was pretty awesome. That's so strong. <laughs> Squeezy is probably better here. Let's be honest. I think... Based on our current look, I think we go Devil Deal here. Okay, we got Bloody Gust. Do you know what? I'm going to take the HP. It seems like a weird choice, but I'm going to do it. Okay, cool. I was just checking, can I hit this away? And I can. Let's do it for both of them. Okay, good. I actually need to move it a little further away. Black heart there. I will go a little hard on this because we're just getting so much HP right now. One penny, give me a dime. Give me a dime. Damn it. Didn't get so lucky with those. It's okay. Keep pressing the wrong one. Because concussion normally goes into your pocket slot, but if you don't have a pocket slot available, it won't. Okay, unfortunately... Didn't do too well on that. Fly me to the moon. Oh, we're, we're, we're very close. We are very close here. Yes, I think we got enough. I think it was 34, wasn't it? I think it was 34. Come on, this, this has got to be such a god tier run if I get this angel thing. Yeah, it's 34, okay. Oh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is so good. What is this run? <laughs> oh, God. Eden's blessing. You sweet summer child. This is precious. This is truly remarkable. Truly. Right. Do not forget our knife pieces. My lord. Do not forget our knife pieces. 
How do I, this is another one of those ones where like, how the hell do I even make a thumbnail out of this? What do I do? <laughs> Gotta remember the double tap to get the, the skills out there. We can Dark Arts into Himyo. And Dark Arts back out again. Good, good. Well, I get in like a chest like every room. Okay, so there's our mirror. We don't know where our white fire is quite yet. It's okay though. Look at look at how huge the feathers are. Get a few of them going. Beautiful. We've got um Oh, we've got a full heart container there, which isn't as big of a deal for this character, but there you go. Right, keep her moving. Keep her grooving. Another cell heart. That's Montezuma's Revenge, I'm pretty sure. I'll take it. I'll take Montezuma's Revenge. I think it's pretty good. Be good if it fired out little corn feathers. I don't even know how that would work. Three keys. Okay. Ooh, is that black candle that I see there? Actually, that... I don't know. That could just be a regular candle. Like, candle item. I don't know what that is. That's a little risky to take, that. We know the other ones are health items, so... I think we probably want to buy the health, right? We probably just want to buy as many health items as we can get our grubby little hands on. We definitely need to take speed upgrades when they're available to us, though, to counteract Binge Eater's speed downs. You, now, you don't get a lot of speed down from Binge Eater, but it does add up. Oh, I keep accidentally leaving the room. Good, good. This is... Oh. I'm in love. I am in love. Just ha gonna have a chill day. But yeah, okay. So, question of the day. We'll actually get to it this time. Um, What's your favourite time period in history? What's like a time period that you just love like reading about, learning about? For me, there's a lot. I, I mean, obviously, I, I was kind of talking about in the... the uh, like a few episodes ago about like my favorite toy and as a kid like dinosaurs were big for me so the Jurassic period was is all has always been like super super interesting for me to learn about oh my god we're we're so powerful we're so powerful it's obscene I don't know what that is I'm gonna take the health again Binge is just too good Binge Eater is just too good but yeah, I gotta say, if Jurassic period for me was always like one of the big ones. I just, I just think it's like, it's, it's just kind of crazy to learn about like an entire species that no longer exists at all. Okay, another one of them going. Bit of shot. We got so much shot speed. Holy hell! Right, we're gonna do the white fire thing. We gotta be very careful that we don't die doing this, but I'm almost certain we won't just because of the sheer amount of damage we have. Like, I, I don't wanna play it overconfident, but we are in a good spot. Also, another cell heart. Like, we are in a really good spot right now, so. As long as we don't make ridiculously dumb mistakes, which honestly, I'm not gonna say isn't impossible. We should be okay. I should have got the golden key before doing that. Just try not to use dark arts or anything. Because, like, I, while dark arts is good, if you misplay it, you can easily get yourself hit. Should we go for our boss as well for an extra uh, binge eater? I think we should, just because the boss went down so easily. I, I For some reason, I thought then it was going to switch between a binge eater heart and just, like, make me not be able to get it. I was like, oh, shit, but... It, it, it can't do that. that. That'd be stupid. Oh, cell boys, don't walk into the fires. I'm trying to make you avoid that. Just, It's just obscene, isn't it? Like, the trinket is so fucking crazy as well. Like, how can one trinket be so good? Enemies are more aggressive, are they? I've not noticed. <laughs> I'll be honest, I really haven't. Right, 
right. There you go. You are down and dirty. Ah, oh, both of these are HP anyways. <laughs> but this time we get beautiful damage. Lovely. And away we go. This, this... I say this often, and I've said it before, but in recent memory, this might be the best run I've ever had. Don't know why I'm going back to the item room. Like, just based purely on the quality of items that we started with. I mean, any single run in which you get Benji on the first floor or start with it as Eden or with Eden's Blessing is going to be a god tier run. Like, it's just, it just has to be. But this is on another level. I should really use a bomb on this. Like, it's just on another level. Like, the fact that membership card has been so fruitful for us as well is crazy. I'm going to go back to the shop and buy more HP. I just, why not? <laughs> like, it's just, it's free stats. It's just free stats is what it is. The other one was Chocolate Bar, which is, uh, which w won't count for Binge Eater, I don't think. I mean, it should, but I, 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 for some reason, doubt it will, unless there is a check that, that, modded, that modders can add to their modded health upgrades, which might be possible, I don't actually know. I don't know if there's like a is food check or if it's like hard coded when a food item is food. You never really know. Edmund's mind is strange. Right, we're breaking free. I think it's safe to say that mother is well and truly shagged. Cast the blind's a little annoying because we won't be able to know if we're getting a binge eater item or not. Unfortunately, the ultimate power that we wield is making it a little bit pointless. What the hell? Hello. Uh, it's making it a little bit pointless to actually use our concussion uh, dark arts thing that we got going on. Like, it's, it's pretty useful against bosses here and there. This is a... Why is this boss so heckin' tanky? I'm guessing this is because you have to throw the bomb in its mouth for this to work, but this is still kind of crazy. Right, there you go. That's a really weirdly tanky boss. Boom, 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 boom. All y'all go. And then we dark arts into here. Ooh, hello. A burn heart, per se. I like the fact that we can use our concussion thing to knock things away like that. It's super useful. Hello. Clickety clacks. Oh, what? Is that a... Is that an enemy or a grimace? That's a grimace, right? I thought that was an enemy for a second. Oh, God. That's the enemy. Oh, my Lord. I can't even focus on, like... Talking about general things when this run exists as it does. It's too difficult to not talk about the sheer power that we wield. Okay, so this is like the situation where it's a little difficult. I'm gonna, I'd rather buy things from down here because they're likely to be better. Unfortunately, we got the HP, but that's okay because the HP is still pretty good. Um, let's blow up this and buy some more stuff. So this is just completely random. The battery, unfortunately not amazing, but it's not terrible either. Having an extra charge of concussion and dark arts is not a bad thing. You can definitely see the extra aggression in some of these enemies, cause, just because their movement speed is quite increased. But like, like you can see these enemies there, these death's heads, like their animation seems to be sped up by like 25%. It seems like everything is just sped up by 25% really. Uh, but it's it, it doesn't hold a candle to the amount of rewards it gives you. I bet, um, basically every run that isn't a complete dumpster fire, it's always worth taking the trinket. It's so obscenely strong. I think I managed to hit him, yeah, that's cool. Beautiful. 
Ah, damn it, I got the HP again. <laughs> it's a very HP heavy run, but at the same time, we have such a good baseline for a run that we have no real need to, to try and get items that aren't from Binge Eater. Because everything else we got going on is just so ultimately good. Clutch Heart's doing its thing. Take one of them, one of them, one of them. And away we go. I think with this uh, this Fly Heart, we're going to get a Locust on the next floor. Because if you, I think it's if you don't have Red Health, it gives you a Locust. Or if you have empty Red Hearts. So I do, it'll, it'll either not work at all, or it'll give us a guaranteed one. Hey, we actually got an item that's going to be useful for us here. Nice. A louse with a resprite as well. Oh, you bastard. Okay, it's gone. Doesn't matter. A louse with a pretty cool resprite there. <laughs> Keep forgetting about all these resprite mods that I've got now. They all look really good. Like Mercurius there, the planetarium items have beautiful resprites. They look so nice. Right. To the next floor. Oh, why didn't I just use the red bomb? That was so stupid. Anyways. Down we go. I can't. I can't fathom. I can't fathom. But yeah, knockout drops is a very nice one to grab. I'm taking some dumb damage here and there, but I think overall it's not going to matter all too much. Just because we're, we're going to get, like, guaranteed so much health. This is a really cool room. Um, we're going to get guaranteed, like, a lot of HP from, um... From the chests that we get from broom clears. Like, w just because we're getting such a sheer, like, high volume of chests. We're going to get soul hearts here and there. The amount of money as well, my god. Every shop is essentially free. Because we have infinite amounts of money. Every single shop we come to, we already have 15 cent no matter what. <laughs> I really like that tactic. It's just a shame that, like, because of what we got going on, it's not very useful anymore. Like, we, our our normal fire is just so much better. Oh, Baby Pluto, my beloved. We have to take Baby Pluto. He's the cutest little fella I've ever done seen. Look at him go. Look at him go. A broken heart there. We really don't need that at all. Come here, mole boy. Hello, you. What, what happened to my baby Pluto? Did you knock away my bomb then? I better not find out you did. Otherwise, there will be hell to pay. This is it's like binge eater. This is like one of the beautiful things about it. It's like, oh. Uh, this shop item doesn't really, like, isn't really very good for me. Oh, well. Instead, I'll take this and get a bunch of stats. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's just, like, it's, it just turns everything into something useful. Golden penny here as well. And we open up the secret. I'll right, we'll go do the boss first, though. Make sure I do that first. Ow. I'm getting hit a lot, but like I said, it just doesn't matter. It just sheerly doesn't matter. Because look, more health. <laughs> There's always more health. Whoa, uh, uh, uh. Summit's not right with that room. Okay, no. Sorry, something's just not right in general. What the hell's going on right now with the grimaces? Something's bugged. Oh, really? I got these two bosses back to back? Why is that even possible? Stop dropping the little black flies. Why they can do that is beyond me. Why this boss exists is beyond me. Like, I don't... Of, of all the things they scrapped in Anti-Birth, I cannot believe this wasn't one of them. Piece of cheese or a midnight snack. we got to go with the, the midnight snack for the stats, haven't we? What the hell? That hit me? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. But there's another soul heart. This is what I mean. 
Just like, look at the health we're on all the time. Oh, did I miss out on my devil deal? I'm an idiot. Oh, well. That was a really dumb move by me. I completely forgot to go check the devil deal. Yeah, there's some... There's some strange grimace action going on here. Beautiful. Shops now appear. Ooh, hoo, hoo. oh no, no, no. Okay, I can't. I can't drop the ring. The ring is far too good. But I have to say, I would like shops appearing in the womb because we're getting so much money. But that trinket is what's enabling us to get so much money. So doesn't really balance out. Look at all the money we're getting, even still. Right. Let's go. This shouldn't be all too hard at all. Um, I obviously will lose my speed, but this guy gets some base speed on top of it, so unfortunately we can't uh, destroy any of these barrels. I think, I don't know if like these rooms are some of the new ones they added with the update, or if these rooms are ones that are added via mods. I'm really not sure. Because I know that you can add these rooms via mods. I feel it's kind of a... It's, a, it's both a good thing and a bad thing. I feel it's kind of dangerous to make these because they're so particular on how to make them well. One moment, I've got a message incoming. Who's saying what to me now? Oh no, someone just joined the Discord. That's cool. Welcome, welcome. If you're not already in the Discord, by the way, feel free to join. There's a link in the description. It's a pretty chill place. I'm very active in there, so I'll be talking pretty much all the time with people. Yep, I was just about to say, I'm going to get hit. That's a given. Not a given, it's just a given. It's not a given. Hello, mother. I feel like the mother, th this mother chair sequence, like, not not the fact that it, like you have to keep repeating it. I think it's a, a it's a really good sequence. I feel like they could have done to tweak it a little bit, just to make her, like, not so feckin' huge. Like, she's just a gargantuan beast of a woman. I think I got a soul heart back there. Oh, wait, no, I got on a, I got a thingy heart, an immortal heart. Please don't say I lose this here. Yes. By the way, I think I mentioned in the, la the last time I got one of these. Okay, it's gone. Doesn't matter. Um, that was dumb. But oh, oh my god, why am I such a, a huge flaming special boy? What's going on here? Um, the last time I got one of those, it was preventing me from picking up other modded hearts. They rewrote the whole mod in order to fix that bug. So big shout out to Team Compliance. They did a really good job. Right. Back we go. We are on our merry way. We're pretty much in the home stretch now, though. One, basically, for me at least, once I've got my uh, my knife, I'm like, cool, chill. We're in the home stretch. Let's go. I mean, health is still fantastic. A little upset I missed out on a devil deal for basically no reason, but other than that, we're in a good spot. And no thank you on you. Oh, God. D you, you're too fast, boy. You're too fast. HP. Kind of actually need the HP itself this time. Uh, Guppy's Tail is a good one to grab. Um, but, in fact, I probably should have grabbed it because it would have given us a lot more chests. In hindsight, it was probably a better idea. I was more so thinking of, oh, I kind of need HP at the minute. I'm, I'm losing it pretty rapidly here. Right, can I... Let's see. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. It'd be so funny if they just dropped onto those spikes and then immediately died. I didn't think they'd die to spike damage, but that'd be so funny if they did. We've not had many luck pennies, though, considering. Okay, so this is kind of an obvious one. We've got to take Super Bandage, which is, like, full HP. Um, the other item ended up being... Oh, Pride Badge. So good. The other item ended up being worth taking more so anyways, but still, you never know. It's great to have that mod that lets you see what you what you missed out on. I think it's a really good addition to the game. It's something that should be in the base. Like, it's definitely a bit trolly. It's definitely like, ooh, look what you missed out on. You you suck. You made the wrong choice. But also, it makes a lot of sense. Is it like, making you feel regretful of your choice is like a staple of Isaac. <laughs> it's like something that Isaac strives to do. Making you feel regret. <laughs> so, I think it's actually a very, very good mod. 
What on? Uh, no. No. I will be taking my leave via Mercurius here. I am not completing this room. <laughs> that, like... Also that room too, what the hell? Has someone just like... Gone out of their way to make some really dickish rooms on the, uh... On Gehenna, because that is... What the hell? Who's doing this? Stop! Um... I think we'll... First of all, let's check down here, because it could be better items down here, because it can take them different pools. Like Mum's Knife. I mean, I actually don't think I want Mum's Knife. It wouldn't it wouldn't work with our Feather Shot. Let's just take that and that. Yeah, what sadistic bitch is, like, out here making these rooms? <laughs> I'm not completing them. With Mercurius, I can skip them. Therefore, I shall. Golden Bombs. The horny boys, whoa. This is a cool room though, I like this one. I mean, he's dead, but it was cool. Oh no, I wanted marbles. I was gonna try and uh, suck down thingy. That is the one thing about binge eater. You've got that sort of tainted Isaac thing of constantly accidentally picking up the HP if you, if you forget about it for even a second. Backdrops in these areas look so good. Three chests. I completed a room with two buttons, and it gave me three chests. This is the sort of power that we're dealing with right now. Also, the knockback. Why? Also, like my shot speed. Why is the? Why can shot speed go this high? I'm at 3.86, almost four times higher than base. I mean, it's reasonably useful. Oh, planetarium. But you can see that like my shots are kind of coming out of me further. Than my body, like if I'm standing too close to an enemy, too close to an enemy, it just won't hit them. We got Virgo or um Ooh, yeah, we'll take the we'll take this one. This is good. Uh damage up for each room we do. Resets on the floor, but we keep I think like 10% of the gain damage up, so it kind of works out. And you can see as well with the shot speed, we're able to shoot over rocks somewhat too. It's all sorts of wacky. What the hell? This little planetary baby, I'm going to murder him. I love him. He's the cutest little fella you've ever done seen in your entire life. But I will stab him in the throat. Alright, let's check what we've got going on down here. What's this? Sacred assistance. I'm gonna guess it's a... It's a... Yeah, it's a trinket. Okay. Stop nodding yes at me, fella. So we are down to pretty meager levels of speed now. It would be nice to get some speed upgrades. I think we'll take Scorpio. Oh, ho, ho, we missed out on Monstrous along the... Oh, no, and we got Spurred as well. Spurred... I'm not a fan of Spurred. I have to, I have to admit. I think Spurred is a transformation that, for one, is like a lag machine. Like, basically every time I get it, it's just like the laggiest thing ever. And it's also just surprisingly easy to get. I mean, this run's particular. Like, you'd think that three planetarium items... Uh, sorry, three um, star sign items and a planetarium item would be hard. But especially on characters that get more planetariums like Andromeda, it's so easy to get. And it's like, it's pretty strong. You get flight and you get all the extra tiers. Hey, another immortal heart here. Oh, wait, it didn't... Didn't give us it, I think because we're at full health, it didn't allow us to have it. It might, to be fair, Spurred might have been turned down since the last time I got it. I don't know. But we'll find out, I guess. Oh god. I'm just gonna get in there and touch that. <laughs> Another Immortal Heart. Okay, so yeah, for some reason I'm not allowed to have Mortal Hearts right now. I think it's because my health is near to full. Maybe it's just because I'm too strong already. Ooh, double damage trinket. <laughs> that would be pretty strong. Oh my lord, hello. I'm going to get rid of both the rocks, actually. Four, five... Okay, we got to five. We'll take that. 
And we shall take this. Ooh. Laser might not have been a great idea with Spurred, actually. Because now we're going to be constantly generating Spurred tiers. Although they don't seem to be... Yeah, maybe the lag's been sorted out a little bit. Because they don't collect on the screen anywhere near as much as they used to. Or at least from what I'm experiencing right now. Okay, we'll take that. Actually get a Devil Deal this time. Unfortunately, none of that's really worth it to me. By the way, the reason I'm not using Monsuma's Revenge is because I have to tap shoot to activate uh, Angel's Wings um, Dogma attacks, like the like the Godhead and stuff. You have to tap shoot to do that, really, because you got a double tap to activate. But this is this has been a joy, a true joy. I mean, honestly, at this point. Let's just make the home stretch. Complete the room complete the room so that we can. But essentially, if we make it to the next door before killing the room, just leave. <laughs> okay. The boss should go down pretty quick, and uh, I mean mother, by the way, not this boss. This boss should also go down pretty quick, but he doesn't really matter. I, I think we'll definitely take Blood Clot here. Another Cell Heart. Cell Hearts are a little too common still. Um, I, I was talking to the developer about this, and they they, they said 10%'s fine. And it, it kind of is because they're very fragile, like they die pretty quick, but they are giving you additional damage, and they do seem to appear like once every other floor. Any room with anything that's got invulnerability in my jam. Okay. But speed running across the universe. I've, I've got to try the mimic chest every time now because we might get an item. Despite the fact that I probably don't need said item, I always want to do it nonetheless. That's a lot of chests. Hey, a soul heart. Good, good. See, being able to back out of a room like that with Mercurius is just ultimately amazing. Just being able to nerf out of any situation. It's so, it's so useful. Or like, not complete rooms that don't really need completing. This is a mini boss here above us. So the door wouldn't open automatically. So I could tell Mr. Boom off HP. You know it's HP, baby. You know it's HP. Unfortunately, we've gone the wrong way quite a few times here. I think there was a, a world card here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we, we, we've just gone all the wrong ways so far here. Okay, let's go straight. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm probably going to get hit by that, but oh well. Bomb through here. Allows us to skip a room and check this pretty conveniently. No thank you, we do not have the health to make that work. That was butt penny there, wasn't it? And a single room remains. All that stands between us and victory is Mother herself. And honestly, we should be fine. Like, I'm taking damage here. It's not great, but have you seen the speed at which we're killing her? As long as I don't completely mess this up, which honestly, so far, I kind of am. She just keeps doing this attack, and I can't really dodge it very well. That is one shame about the uh, the health bar. Adding a health bar to Mother kind of covers some of her attacks and makes things a little difficult. Oh my god, the knockback on her. Okay, yeah, the knockback is so useful on Mother. I, I never realized it could knock her back quite so much. 
It's really helpful. Although, I will say, in this situation, not so helpful. Because she's up against the wall, but there you go, we did it. What a run. What a crazy run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was absolutely mental, and I will see you guys in the next one.